everyone. Thanks for joining us. Today we're diving into a cool update from Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations, specifically the new multi-company processing feature with hierarchical legal entity selection. Yeah, this is coming from the latest release notes, version 10.0.44 for anyone keeping score at home. It's developed by Microsoft, obviously, but man, they really brought some interesting changes with this one. Right. It's basically all about making it easier to deal with tons of legal entities inside large organizations. Instead of uh, hunting through a flat list of companies, you now get this parent-child hierarchy set up, which is way more organized. Totally. I mean, the document aims to help finance teams and business users actually manage transactions and reports across a bunch of different companies, you know. Previously, it could get pretty confusing. The main idea is like boosting visibility and control so you don't just get lost scrolling through long lists of companies. And honestly, for anyone working in finance, that's a huge win. Okay, so first off, the multi-company processing feature isn't just a small tweak. It's a big improvement from the old system. Now, users can see their legal entities in an actual hierarchy, like parent companies with their subsidiaries underneath them, instead of one giant mixed up list. Oh, that's such a relief. Have you ever tried tracking which entities are related when it's all um, mashed together alphabetically? I've totally lost track in the old setup. Same. It's way better if you're managing several legal entities, especially if you're dealing with like shared resources or if you have centralized finance teams handling stuff for multiple business units. Right. So how do you even turn this thing on? Is it uh, complicated or is it just a toggle in the settings? It's pretty straightforward, honestly. You just head over to Feature Management and enable the multi-company purpose feature. After you do that, any organization hierarchy that's set up for this purpose will start showing up in the new interface, including places like the general ledger, accounts payable, global transactions, you know, all those spots. Oh, so it works in like most of the major finance and asset modules? Definitely. You get it in modules like general ledger, currency revaluation, accounts payable and receivable, fixed assets, asset leasing, the list goes on. In my opinion, they did a good job packing it everywhere you might need to batch process stuff or drill into reports for multiple legal entities. That's awesome. Now, about the new controls, they're not just thrown in there, are they? There's like actual thought behind how the user picks companies, right? Oh, yeah. The parent-child hierarchy means you can search, sort, and select exactly what you need. If you're a fan of the old flatlist style, there's still a way to flip back. But honestly, the hierarchical view just makes life easier, especially as things scale up. I can see that being a huge deal for teams that cross over business domains or even different countries. If you're selecting by geography or by division, it's all mapped out for you. Not to mention, the navigation is smoother so you waste way less time clicking around. Plus, it gives admin teams better visibility into which entities are grouped where. So like, who's really going to benefit here? I mean, besides uh, finance super users? Well, it's a game changer for organizations operating in multiple legal entities. If you're running batch transactions, doing monthly or even year-end closes, this saves time. Centralized teams and any setup with shared resources are going to see uh, more streamlined processes and fewer mistakes. And there's flexibility too, right? Like organizations that want to structure hierarchies by geography or business line can just do that. Absolutely. The best part? You can keep things tailored for your operational needs, but if um, nostalgia hits, the legacy flat list view is still around. I mean, choices, everyone loves them. So to kind of sum everything up, this feature seriously upgrades Dynamics 365's usability for uh, anybody juggling multiple entities and complex structures. Yeah, it gives finance and operations teams a much more intuitive way to manage their work, boosts control, and helps keep everything super visible and organized. If anyone out there is part of a centralized finance team or you're just tired of scrolling, this upgrade's got your back. And the flexibility to switch views or set up hierarchies by your own business or geography is um, super helpful. Just one of those updates that actually makes life easier, you know? All right, that's it from us. Thanks for hanging out. Hope this breakdown helps next time you're swimming through all those legal entities.